Applying a self-leveling epoxy floor. This is a presentation on our product, Ctiso Floor. Ctiso Floor is a three component product. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to apply the self-leveling floor. So the first step is you're going to be mixing uh, the product, the A and the resin. The A component, which is the resin, the B component is the hardener, and we will also add some quartz, which is the third component. Um, we're only showing you the part where we actually apply the product. I'm assuming that you've done your surface preparation, you've done your priming, the, the surface is ready for applying uh, self-leveling epoxy. So this video only covers the final part. And as we see here now, we see the worker is mixing the product and you have to be very careful and mix the product thoroughly with a slow mixer so you want a slow mixer because if you mix it too fast it will create bubbles so use an electrical mixer and mix for two to three minutes and make sure that the mixture the epoxy mixture is uniform and now what we see is we are moving to the actual spreading of the product so we are using a um, we are pouring the product on the floor and we're going to use a notched trowel. Um, the whole idea here is you use a trowel, a size, that f depending on the thickness you want. So if you want a three millimeter thick floor, you should use a notched trowel, which is gonna be a six millimeter large teeth. That way you can get three millimeters on the floor. That's the whole idea behind this. And here we are, here you see the workers just making sure that the product goes everywhere and it's evenly spread out. Um, the idea is you drag the trowel until there's no longer any product left. So you can distribute the product nice and even. And once this step is completed, the next step that we're going to show you in a bit is another worker comes with spiked shoes and a spiked roller and releases the bubbles and that way he can get the final surface going so that's going to be our next clip in a second meanwhile you can still watch how the worker takes his time to spread the product keep in mind this product has a pot life of around 40 minutes so you can't take too long because you need to be moving fast and pouring more product as you move along and here we see the other worker who's now wearing spiked shoes and he is breaking the bubbles and that is the main procedure on how to apply the, uh, the self-leveling floor i'll show you finally a few more pictures at the end um, if you want more information contact us directly just visit our website you can see the link www.ctesis.eu remember to subscribe to our channel and click on other videos there's lots of useful information on this channel thank you very much for watching